Hello guys, this is Ravens from Digi Degree Deep. Welcome to Tech News episode 214. Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro flagship go official globally. The phone comes with a Tensor chipset, Android 12 and a 50 megapixel camera. Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro price start at 599 US dollars, that is roughly around rupees 45,900, and a 899 US dollars, that is roughly around rupees 67,500. Realme GT Neo 2T and Realme T1 smartwatches have been launched in China. The key Realme GT Neo 2T specifications include a 6.43 inch AMOLED display, MediaTek Dimensity 1200 AI processor, 64 megapixel primary camera, and it runs on Android 11. Realme T1 smartwatches ship with an AMOLED display, heart rate sensor, NFC, and a 5 ATM water resistance. If we talk about the prices, Realme GT Neo 2T price starts at 2,099 Chinese yuan, that is approximately 24,000. 600 Indian rupees for the 8 GB and a 128 GB model, and 2,299 Chinese yuan, that is approximately rupees 26,900 for the 8 GB RAM and a 256 GB version, and 2,599 Chinese yuan, that is around rupees 30,400 for the 12 GB RAM and a 256 GB variant. And if we talk about the prices of Realme T1 smartwatch, that is cost us around 699 Chinese yuan, that is around rupees 8,200, and it will be coming up in black, mint, olive green, and Vitality black color options. Realme has launched the Realme Q3s smartphone in China. The Realme Q3s is powered by a Snapdragon 778G 5G processor that has become a staple of sorts among mid-range offering and is also found on the likes of the Realme GT Master Edition and the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G New Edition. It is a premium chip that promises nearly flagship level performance. It is having an ultra fast processor. It is complemented by an ultra smooth display with a refresh rate of 144 Hz. The display is a 6.6 inch HDR10 LCD with a full HD plus resolution. It peaks brightness is 600 nits fairly high for an LCD panel. Now let's talk about the battery. It is sized at a 5000 mAh and can be filled up quickly enough with a 30 watt fast charger. Now let's see about the prices. Which is priced at 1499 Chinese yuan that is around 234 US dollars and for the 8 GB RAM and a 128 GB model it is priced as around 1599 Chinese yuan that is around 249 US dollars. And the last storage variant is 8 GB RAM and a 250 6GB storage that is priced around 1999 Chinese yuan that is around 312 US dollars the color options are nebula and night sky blue Raya's release its data for download and upload speed for September 2021. The download speed helps consumers access content from the internet while upload speed helps them send or share media with their contacts. According to the Troy data, Jio's 4G network speed increased by 15% while Airtel and Vodafone Idea jumped by 85% and 60%. Amazfit latest smartwatches the Amazfit GTR3 GTS3 and GTR3 Pro were announced globally last week soon after the global debut Amazfit had confirmed the launch of the three new smartwatches in India as well now the Flipkart listing has revealed the pricing and full details of the Amazfit GTR3 while Amazon has listed the GTR3 Pro and GTS3 on the platform To talk about the prices, the Amazfit GTR3 is priced at rupees thirteen thousand nine ninety nine and will be available for purchase on Flipkart from October twentieth at well known. The Amazfit GTS3 and GTR3 Pro smartwatches will be available on Amazon, but the sale date and pricing are yet to be revealed. Apple unveiled the new AirPods 3 True Wireless earphones yesterday, and now a new report claims the Cupertino-based tech giant will follow that up with the Beats Fit Pro True Wireless earphones on November first. Apple yesterday in its Unleashed event also launched a new polishing cloth. The cloth can also be used to clean on any Apple display. It can be also used to clean the nano texture glass on the Pro Display XDR. DJI Mavic 3 drone revealed a more powerful battery system that will expand its flight time significantly. In an addition that an eventually unveiling all the products is imminent. The Mavic 3 consumer drone and an action to waterproof camera have entered the United States Federal Communication Commission database. The IQ Z5 X is to get a 120 Hz refresh rate display. The promotional poster also confirms the presence of 5 layer cooling system. The IQ Z5 X launches tomorrow in China and will slot in below the more powerful IQ Z5. The OnePlus 9R is set to make its entry into India. According to the leaked Twitter post, OnePlus 9R launch event for India is not too far from now, and it is right around the corner. The same launch event will also be lifting the curtains on the OnePlus Buds Z2 True Wireless earbuds. 
Vivo Watch 2 is going to get an eSIM functionality. Vivo Watch will also get an OLED display with a 510 mAh battery. The eSIM functionality will introduce new features like calling and internet functionalities. WhatsApp is introducing a new feature that will enable users in certain group to organize a rolling group voice or a video call, which any participant of the group can simply tap on once in order to join into it. The feature, which may be called as joinable group call links, is not exactly a new feature. This app has already had the feature in stable form for a while. However, so far the group call links would only be available in custom video calls made by users. Now the new feature will reportedly allow users to directly initiate the group voice or a video call by by tapping on the voice or video call buttons that have been integrated into groups with the latest update. Once the call is set up, all users present in the group will be notified about the call and a separate graphic notifying about the ongoing call and will show up in the title of the group itself. Last month, Xiaomi had a global launch event to announce the Xiaomi 11T and 11T Pro flagship phones. Speculations are rife that the 11T series will be debuting soon in India at the end of this September. The 11T Pro's Indian variant was spotted on the Bureau of Indian Standards. Now the same device has emerged on the IMEI database. These listings suggest that its launch may not be far away. Xiaomi known largely for its commercial gadgets and smart home appliances. It is seeking to start the production of its very first electric car as earliest as the first half of 2024. This update comes at the Xiaomi Investor Day held earlier today in Belgium, China, where the company's co-founder, CEO and chairman Legend stated that its electric vehicle plans is working well ahead of its schedule. Zomato has faced the Twitter backlash after one of its customer care executives referred Hindi as a national language of the country. Vikas from Tamil Nadu ordered food from local restaurant using the Zomato application on Monday. One of the food items went missing. He sought help the customer care. The customer care executive replied that he was unable to help Vikas with the refund because of the language barrier. When Vikas insisted for further help, the executive has mentioned that for your kind information, Hindi is our national language, so it is very common that that everybody should know Hindi a bit. So Vikas posted the screenshot of the conversation on Twitter. Hours later, the food aggregators started facing a huge backlash as Reject Rojomato started to trend in Chennai and other parts of the state. The Battleground Mobile India series is a gaming event that ensures a total prize money of rupees 1 crore to the winner. Though the event partner companies will be promoting esports in India and gamers from 29 states will test their skills in the world of Battlegrounds Mobile India. If you think you have what it takes to be a champions of champions, then you can apply for the qualifier matches, which will take place between 1024 teams. And out of those, only a few will proceed to the round one of the tournament. Battleground Mobile India will soon open the registration of the tournament, and all the players are required to keep checking the social media handles for Battleground Mobile India and IQ Esports. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.